Spencer Jones belts a 470-foot home run. Spencer Jones hit one that hasn't landed yet. Who the fuck is Spencer Jones? That's a Spencer real Spencer Jones that hit one so far and have a, have a Gee, damn stewardess on it. Listen, Gee, um, Willikers. I know. That's the one you were pointing at earlier. Gee, Willikers. Mm, nice. Nice and tight. Welcome, oh, hi. <laughs> you're, you're there. We're back. Uh, segment two, IDD for those who know I don't disagree. That is the redoubtable himself, Tom Izzo. Highly questioned. Juan Miliaccio. Grapefruit and not the real fruit. Major League Baseball is back. Game no, started. No, it is the real fruit. It, is it the real fruit? I mean, that's why it's called the Grapefruit League. Because I know. it's in Florida. I know. Because Grapefruit. called the Orange League. Oranges are big down there, too, right? Aren't they? Yeah. 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 Well, the coconut league. They have coconut, they have palm trees down there, right, too. I like grapefruit. I like the coconut. I really, I really feel like it. grapefruit. I love how it's grapefruit and cactus. They should call it the coconut league. There's coconuts down there, too. I know, but nobody wants to be talking about nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, the Red Sox lost their first game. A real Donnie. I'm sure you're all hanging on the edge of your seats in that one. Four to three to the Orioles, who were a very good team last year, so there's no shame in that. Mets um, lost 10-5 to the Cardinals. Yeah, Mets lost 10-5 no to the Cardinals. There. Um, they were down 8-2 to two before I checked the score. But, I mean, it's one of the most meaningless pastimes in the history of life. That is spring training spring, baseball. Spring training baseball. Spring training baseball is good for going to see in person, yeah. something I've never done. Yeah. Um, that would be fun, to take a road trip I would down love there. It. Are they in Florida, too? What if we did that next year? Are the Mets in Florida too? Mets are they, in the Grapefruit League. Oh, that's right. I thought they were in. The, I don't know if they're in the Cactus League in Arizona. No, East oh. Coast is Grapefruit. Is grapefruit. Cactus is West the, Coast yeah. is Cactus. Okay, for the most part. For the most. Yeah, the I'm Dodgers, saying that. that's why I was wondering. The, I didn't the know. Dodgers originally were in Florida. Yeah, that's why I was. But I think for the most part, it's kind of separated like that, which makes yeah. sense. No, it does because you have like, East Coast yeah. teams down there and West Coast. Mm-hmm. Teams. That, I get it. Yeah. Um, but look, no, I, that would be fun. Um, Fort Myers is awesome. The Red Sox have a, like a, a mini Fenway there, Fenway Park there. Dude, imagine if cool. we went, we saw a game uh, there, yeah. then we went and saw... Where do the Mets play? The Red Sox Fort St. Lucie. Not too... Oh, okay. I don't know where that is. Actually, I think it's on the other side of Florida. It's on the East Coast. It's on the East Coast, yeah. Um, the Fort Myers on the, is on the West Coast. Oh, they play in the Gulf. Yeah, they play in the Gulf. Mm. Um, so... That's all right. You go down there for a week. You do that. Um, Dude, we got to do that one year. I got to figure that out. When the kids get older, they don't want us around anymore. We can disappear. Yeah, exactly. We're not needed for anything. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Tom and I are taking off for a week. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Let's go. <laughs> At that point, our wows will be throwing us out of the house. <laughs> At that point. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Uh, you don't want to be yeah. here. I don't want you here. Go. <laughs> so here's the good thing about the Mets. Um, I believe that their ceiling is the last wild card team. Okay. And their basement is... The basement. <laughs> probably fourth place in the East. Okay. I don't think they'll be worse than the Nats. Okay. Even in their basement. Okay. Um, yeah, because the Nats, they, the Nats are awful. The Nats are bad. They're just bad. They, and they, I mean, the, the Mets have a core. They do. Pitching is really bad. Mm. Um, bullpen decent. And lineup, we'll see. Yeah, but that's why I say, ceiling is uh, last last wild card team. Which hey, you get in as the last wild card team, you never know what happens. No, but, you don't. Baseball's proof. They're the that's that sport is like it's like the NHL. Yeah. You just get in, and it can happen. But Arizona, Arizona is perfect. Last year, they, how many games did they win? They were in the, exactly. they were in the World Series. So, but but I have no expectation that they will make the playoffs no. this year. And I feel the same way about the shit sucks. Yeah. Um, I was laughing um, because first Tom Warner comes out and says they're going to spend. And then 10 days later, uh, the powers that be are saying they're not going to spend. <laughs> um, Who's that bald guy from? I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. It's, it's UCLA. Um, no, but it wasn't. He used to coach somewhere else. I don't know. He's bald. There's a million bald people. He was like world. a super successful mid major coach, and now he stinks at UCLA. Now he's shit in the bed out in one of the dynasties. Well, no, Hawkeyes was good last year. Um, but in any event, the, the shit sucks. First, Tom Warner, who wants to spend, but says they're going to spend. And then the powers that be come out and say, well, no, no, no. If you look at the payrolls, actually, the top three payrolls didn't do anything in the postseason. Two of them weren't even there. 
Hold so, on, that that's they came out and said that, and that's why they're not. That gonna was spend. there. Why should John Henry spend this money? We got to see if these players prove to us. This is what the, the, the thing was. The players that we have got to prove because the Red, the Red Sox payroll is middle of the pack. They're like 14th or 15th, which is not terrible, but it's not good when you're Boston. Boston's got to be in yeah. the top five. When, you're when Boston was winning World Series, they were in the top five every time. So you can't you can't sell it to the Boston faithful because they're real fans <laughs> and that's a load of shit. Okay, you can't sit there and say, well, the top three teams last year, two of them weren't even there. Yeah, but that's them. <laughs> okay. And you also have to look at how the Mets spent money last year. They spent it like it was going out of business. This, and and they yeah. spent it on old players. That's why they didn't make it because Again, the players were hurt. To your point, it's not that they sp- you want to spend it, spend, you spend, the wrong it, spend money. it wisely. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. And and the Red Sox fans will tell you the same thing. Don't just go blindly spend it. No, spend it wisely. But don't not spend it at all. Yeah. <laughs> because basically, when you say that, but here's what he, and again, he didn't hear this to be fair, but when you say that to a fan base like the Boston Red Sox, and there aren't many fan bases like them. They're in a handful of all, like the Packers, the Yankees, the Celtics, the Lakers, you know, teams like San Fran, the Patriots, the, the, the Steelers, the Cowboys. They're, that's where they are. They're in a different, they sit at a different table, those fan bases. Okay, the Cardinals. St. Louis. The, the Yankees. Yankees. The, the, I said the Yankees. Oh. I said them. I'm saying those fan bases sit at a different table. Okay? They don't tolerate. They, they Again, they don't tolerate it because they, a standard was set at some point in their history. And, and, and by the way, the ownership said this is the standard. Okay, well, your fans take you at your word. So when, some, when they don't meet that standard, those fans are still around. They're going to call you on it. It's that simple. Okay? Yeah. So for this guy to say this before a pitch was thrown in spring training, Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, what an idiot. And, and again, he, John Henry's logic on this is we've won, we won four World Series and you're not satisfied. Uh, and we said this last year. I'm like, no, donkey dick. Who's in the division with you? The New York fucking Yankees. <laughs> it's yeah. never over. Yeah. It's never going to be over. And if you didn't understand that, you shouldn't have bought the fucking team in the first place. This is, oh, win a couple and they'll, they'll fucking sing Kumbaya for the next 50 years. No, they won't. Well, you're okay. still fielding a team. Uh, the team you're chasing still Another has... Another season still, starts the next year. You're you still, the standard is still in your own damn division. Yeah. And by the way, you helped build that standard 100 years ago when you gave him Babe Ruth for a bag of balls and a six-pack. Oh, and then Tampa's in your division. <laughs> yeah. Spending less money. Yeah. Winning more games. Winning more. Like, what but, the fuck? I mean, they're winning more than the, the whole league, so... Look, John Henry gets all a lot of credit for those forward series, and he should. But what's happened in the past since they won in 2018 is a fucking travesty. It's a fucking travesty. That core never should have been split up. It was young. That team should still be together, the core of it. And the fact that it's basically all gone except for well, Devers a is a fucking embarrassment. Okay? And the real truth is he spent it on his fucking soccer team, and now he's trying to acquire a basketball team or a football team or something. Mookie Betts should be your, your should everyday never have gone right fielder. To the West Coast. He should be leading off for yep. you. I'm telling you right now. And J.D. Martinez should still be here. I'm telling you right now. They, they fucked this up so bad. And now they come out and say this after Tom Warner came out and told the fans, look, we're not going to sit back and take this. And then 10 years later, he gets overruled by the majority. Mm. And I'm That's telling gross. you right now, and then Devers, Devers credit, Devers came out down the spring and, and said something on, this is ridiculous. Look at the teams we're trying to get. You, we he can't, said that? Yeah, Devers said it. Good and he should have said it. He should have said it. And I'm glad he did say it. And the thing is, the, for them to say, you can't say, well, let's see how they do. You've already seen how they've done. They're overmatched. They don't have the firepower. On either side of the ball, not in the bullpen, not nowhere. Okay, they still haven't replaced the closer from the 2018 World Series. What? Who's that? I just saw UVA's point total today. Yeah, I told Dear you. God. Our our nine year olds aren't much worse. Um, and by the way, like VCU. Yeah, VCU is another one can't score in a whorehouse with a fistful of hundreds. Um, the thing is, um, the the Red Sox. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was trying not to oh, sorry. laugh my drink through my nose. You do that to me all the time, so payback's mm. Payback is a snuffle off like it's up the snut, up the snot. <laughs> up um, the snut. Mm-hmm. But anyway, the Red Sox brass said this today, and if I, listen, here's, uh, and I'm going to say this early. I'm going to get out of the way now. I'm going to say this to every real Red Sox fan. Don't go to a single fucking game this year. <laughs> Give up all your fucking tickets. Do it early while there's still a little bit of buzz. Hey, we go to Fenway. Not, don't wait till mid-season when everybody knows what a shit sh- show they are and try. you won't be able to give them away then. Okay? Get some money for them now because honestly, that team is going to suck. He set the, they, they set the wrong tone. The clubhouse is like, are you kidding me? The, the, what's, what's Alex Cora thinking right now? If you're Alex Cora, do you want to fucking manage this team right now? No fucking way. It's not the it's not the fault of the guys in the clubhouse, but do you want to work for these dickheads? No, 
No. You're never going to get us what we need to really compete? What the fuck? Oh, let's wait and see how they do, and we'll, talk, we'll, re- we'll revisit at the trade deadline. Fuck you! Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Get, get the- All right, well, you know, in, no. in that vein, no. Uh, let's say you rooted for the team that had the richest owner in all of baseball. At least he spent the money. Not this year, okay? Um, after so last year, <laughs> stop me! Stop me when you recognize one of these motherfuckers. After last year, I don't know. This why. is the Mets starting rotation: Kodai Senga, um, who's going to start the year on the DL; Louis <laughs> Louis Severino; um, Louis the loser Severino, Yankees pitcher who's constantly on the disabled list. Constantly. Jose Quintana, ever heard of him? Yep. No, you haven't. I've heard of him. Sean Manea. I've heard of Jose Quintana. Sean Manea. No, I never heard of him. Adrian Hauser? Never heard of him. Oh, and the fifth starter because Sanga's hurt. Tyler McGill? Who? Jose Buto? Not to be confused with Buto. You sure this isn't the Red Sox? David lineup? Peterson? <laughs> Joey Lucchese? Okay, now, I know all these guys because I'm a fucking nut. Yeah. But to have I'm the a Red rich, Sox fan. I wouldn't know but, who they are. But to have the richest owner in baseball and that's your starting rotation? Now... Here's where I'm trying not to be a delusional Met fan. What did he? Well, let me ask you this before you go into the little rant here, so look, if you were him, what, who would you have tried to go get? Well, that's the thing. I mean, you've got Blake Snell on the market, who okay. won the Cy Young last year in the NL. Okay. Nobody's paid him. He's, How old he's is a free he? agent. Um, I don't know. He's probably like 30. So he's, not, he's not too old. Not too old. So why is he still uh, out there? Nobody's gone after him. Because the market because you gotta pay the guy for seven years. And okay. nobody wants to fucking do that. So you to a pitcher Met, who's thirty. So you think the Mets should? No. Uh, no, that's the okay. thing. I don't think they should. Okay. And then the other one is Jordan Montgomery. Okay. Again, who's up there in age. Yeah. And I don't know, he's not a great pitcher, but he was one of the heads of the staff last year for the Rangers who won the World Series. Not a bad guy to have in the locker room. Exactly. Um, if, he but, comes, if he comes at a reasonable price, of course. But he won't. It's going to be big money. But again. And that's why it's kind of like, well, I'm trying to be a patient Mets fan because, look, last year they spent all this money and said, look, okay, we'll invest in older players, short-term contracts, yeah. high annual value, and see what happens while we try to rebuild this thing. Which makes sense on paper. And that didn't work. Okay, but they tried it. So they traded him away. They got prospects. Yeah. And now they're trying to get young. So would it be smart to lock up some, you know, middle of his career starter who probably had the best year of his career last year? So now you're going to overpay to get him for six years. So there's no chance he does that again? Well, maybe for a year. Maybe for two years, but you just sign him for six. He, he wants seven years? I would think these guys are going to get that. Because if he wants a four-year deal, that might be worth That's doing different. Something. But again, though, it's kind of... Well, again, it, I don't, we don't know what he they're wants. They're going to feel like the same thing that they How do you know did. they didn't kick the tires on it? Maybe they did. Oh, they probably did. Yeah. I mean, they offered $325 million to Yamamoto. Yeah, I heard. I and he that. said, okay, thanks thanks for raising the price. Yeah. I'm going to ask L.A. for that. Yeah, L.A. did it. Yeah. L.A.'s all... If L.A. Yeah, doesn't, if like, LA sure. doesn't win th- the next three World Series, they're Complete fucking, failure. They have complete failures. Two that, out of three. I'll is, give them two out of three. That team is a dream team. It is. It's a fucking dream team. Except they're, well, they, no. I hope they fall flat on their face, too, but they're not going to. They're not going to. They just have too much. This season is going to is gonna come down to rooting against a team because our teams are going to shit the bed. As long as the fight, it's going to be like, well, as long as the fucking Dodgers don't win it, it won't be a total disaster. No. And by the way, that, by the way, the I fact that. i the Dodgers the, win than the Braves. The, the fact that John Henry, is, I hope he's hearing that because that's how what he's done. UCLA's in this fucking game. Yeah. Seven points. They're the better team on paper. They're nine. They're a Are bubble they? team. They're nine and six, and they're fourteen and twelve. Oh yeah! Oh my God, USC is slapping the shit out of them. I know on their on their floor. But yeah, here's the thing: why, you know, because everybody's like, oh, why didn't we get this guy? Why didn't we get this guy? We. It depends on what they want. We parlayed those Ooh, nice bad hook. contracts into several top end talent. Mm. You know, uh, what do you call them? Prospects yeah. last year. Yeah. And they might be saying to themselves, hey, we have some guys that are pretty good, you know, around the diamond. Let's let them play the next couple of years mm. and we'll slowly start to fill in these young studs that we have, yeah. you know, in the minors. Yeah. And 
Look, if this kickstarts 30 years of well-run baseball, yeah. I will gladly watch mediocre baseball for the next two years. Again, you, again, look, at they, they were 101 team a year ago. They went all in, and it didn't work. San Diego Padres, anyone? That happened too. So, they didn't go all in. They didn't, they didn't do that. Who had the highest payroll last year? The Mets. They went all in. But no, 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 no. The Padres, remember, they traded all away. They traded a bunch of shit away to get Juan Soto. Yeah. I okay, like they went all in like, we got to win right now. Yeah. Whereas the Mets were like, we're still rebuilding, but we have all this money. Let's spend it on some short-term shit. So, yes, they did kind of go all in, but not in the traditional sense, I feel like. Uh, look, I don't think, again, you said it yourself. It was short-term deals. Yes. Low risk, high reward. Doesn't kill you for the long term. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. They tried it. Didn't work. I, I'd rather. I'd rather my my team did that and ended up like this yeah, than not try right. at all. That's what's yeah. pissing us off in Boston. He's not even trying. Yeah. You can't sell that to the yeah. Boston fans. Yeah. You can't tell them before the season. We're, we'll, we'll, let's wait and see what this team does when they've had a year and a, a year plus of seeing what this team or two years of seeing what this team does. Did he really say you aren't happy with four titles? Yeah, that it wasn't him. Well, again, this is a quote from one of his. It sounds like Bill Burr. No, no. It, what it is is it was one someone in his circle because he's not taking interviews. He hasn't talked to the media in like four years, literally. He hasn't. He does a phone interview every now and then. But he never meets him in person. He's like afraid they're gonna they're gonna. Is he like the him. tall, long neck guy? He's a fucking dork. He looks like Carmen. <laughs> Like, if he didn't win four World Series, I swear he'd get the killed. And by the way, after saying what his, whoever his circle, because again, this got leaked by from his circle. I said, look, mm -hmm. this is, there's a bit red bait, and this is how he feels. He's we spent the, the money, we've won four World Series, they're still not happy. And then somebody with a brain went, um, do you know who's in our division? It's never going to be over. It's the Yankees. Well, right. well, and then he, then their rebuttal was, well, look, two of the, the top, the highest pay, three pay, three pay, didn't do anything last year. Did he make the postseason? So why should I do that when there's no guarantee that's going to work? Why don't we wait and see what this team does? And if, if the trade line they're in it, then we'll spend or we'll do something. Okay? The, again, you can't you can't do say that after you spent and won four World Series spending. <laughs> They've got the most World Series in the century. They've sucked for four years. <laughs> but they also they also had a nice uh, farm system there. Like their, Theo Epstein is back. Their most recent the Epstein, World Series. Yeah. I didn't know half those, I didn't guys. Know half those guys. No, they weren't. Like, from, who they the weren't, fuck are these guys? But the thing is, the guys that they kept came up in the farm system that were the core. They should have kept. Yeah. And they didn't. And no, they were that, all young yeah. and not even their prime. That it was made, a fuck up. It made no sense. That was a fuck up. That's the problem. This is like Belichick pushing Brady out the door. They won a world championship and they're not even their prime. And you blow it up? No, no, no. You're not going to sell it to the Fenway faithful. And the worst part is, you didn't even go out and try and spend to fix it. <laughs> then you yeah. double down and go, we're not going to. No, that no. That's why I'm saying I'm imploring all the real Red Sox fans that see it, don't go, because. The one thing all rich people respond to is the wallet. You hit them in the fucking wallet and then watch watch how fast this motherfucker decides to spend. If there's nobody in those fucking seats, <laughs> that's why Belichick got fired. I, I, I think I sent him a picture of 10 minutes before the Jets game. That fucking stadium was three quarters empty. And it was supposedly, it might be, everybody knew it might be Belichick's last game after 20 years. And that stadium was three quarters empty 10 minutes that's before kickoff. Sad. You don't, uh, up there, they will not, and again, he pushed Brady out the door. This was, no one get fucked, Belichick. But everybody finally figured out what I've been saying for three years. It wasn't him; it was Brady. And on top of it, he he he, he sabotages his first round draft pick. He destroys this poor kid. And everyone's going, "Oh, he wasn't tough enough to take it." What? <laughs> he wasn't tough enough to take, take it. What? Bad take coaching? what? Bad coaching? Matt Patricia and Joe Judge? <laughs> Give me a fucking break! You can't. You cannot. He, he wasn't. He wasn't tough enough to take a toxic you, environment. You can't. Even, you can't justify this on any level. No, you can't. And so this is the. And so this guy takes this core that's just won the World Series and just lets him go. It wasn't one guy. It was four. <laughs> like, give me a fucking break. No, 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 no. Not gonna fly. So if I'm the Red Sox season zeros, I'm telling. I'm imploring you, don't go. <laughs> you want to send a message? Send a message on opening day at Fenway. That is a message. Opening day, we're looking at, uh, you know, it's a... No, 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 no. Go to opening day. No, don't the go to opening day. Games two and three. No, no, don't even go to opening day. Send a message. Don't but even show But you know show. they're going, man. You know Because they're, they're stupid. No, because... They they're all pissed about they it, their but they're all going to show up. If you love them, don't show up. 
You want it to change? Don't show up. There's only one way not to get the to players there's, fault. there's only it's not the player's fault, but there's only one way to get to a billionaire. Hit him in the wallet. You want to speak volumes? Don't show up. Silence is deafening. And if all you're hearing out of Fenway Park is this after the anthem. And you got Bob Euchre on the mic? Yeah. Capacity. <laughs> what is the capacity, Chris? <laughs> 40, 45,000? You know I'm right on this. Nothing gets to a millionaire know, than the wallet. It's not going to happen. Yes, it will happen. It happened in, it happened in Foxborough. That it was the end in. of the season. They, they, stopped, they stopped showing up around midseason. They sucked. They really did. Like they, they sucked, though. Yeah. Matt Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I, I just think it's pathetic that Mac Jones couldn't overcome that. I know. Like, really? what a loser. What a dickhead. You can't, you can't take a bad defensive Shit. coach and a bad special teams coach teaching you how to be a quarterback. You can't thrive in that environment. What a just a Seriously, putt. What a fraud. What a, putt. What a fraud. Total fraud. I mean, I've seen phonies in my lifetime, <laughs> but when I talk, I mean, what a fucking cubic zirconia of a quarterback oh, yeah. that fucking oh, guy is. Yeah. What, do you make a Pro Bowl as a rookie? <laughs> fucking donkey. Loser. What was he up for a rookie of the year? He lost to a guy who broke every record in the receiving handbook, Man. and that's how he lost to him? Fucking dad. Uh, I mean, look, if you're if you're a good coach, what do you think when you see a guy go to the Pro Bowl? Oh. You know what? Let's make it tougher on him. Mm-hmm. Let's see what he can really handle. Yeah. Here's Judge. Yeah. Here's Patricia. Oh, but do it again. We're gonna. We're not gonna assign your best target. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> we're not no. gonna bring in a Hall of Fame receiver. No. We're not gonna do anything to help you. No, no, no. <laughs> we're not even gonna. Basically saying we're not even gonna throw you a, 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 a life preserver. <laughs> you gotta swim, motherfucker. <laughs> Remember that, remember that scene at the end of The Perfect Storm when when he's in his head, Mark Wahlberg, and he's, and he's saying, there's no goodbyes, Christina. There's, he's about to drown in this fucking ocean that, that are like, the waves are 80 feet high. He's just sitting there knowing it's over. And he's just like, that, that was Mac Jones. <laughs> he's like Lieutenant Dan <laughs> looking at the yeah, storm. There's no, there's no goodbyes, Coach Saban. There's just love. There's just love. And he drowns. <laughs> we, Alabama was when it was good for him. They won a national title. He had a coach oh, that gave oh, a Mac. shit. He had a coach that put players around and that could actually do something. Same with Shill O'Brien. In the oh event, God, he's, saying, he's saying the Red Sox fans should show up on opening day. I am saying F no. F to the no. F no, we won't go. F no, we shouldn't go. No, no. I'm Look, I get what you're saying completely. You cannot I'm say that to your fan base. Going. You cannot, Tom, you cannot say that to your fan base before yeah. a pitch is thrown and springs So many head. owners are saying that to their fan base. Not out loud, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Not well. You know what? We should see what they do, and then maybe we'll revisit the trade did. <laughs> <laughs> that is awful. No. That's awful. He's actually he's double dog daring you not to show up for opening day. I double dog dare you. And then and then Henry ed- exercised a breach of etiquette and went right for the throat. I triple dog dare you. <laughs> he skipped the triple the double dog dare. <laughs> went straight for the throat. <laughs> I triple dog. I triple dog dare you. I mean, seriously, mm. fa- seriously, Fenway Faithful. Don't fucking go. You're only going to be mad. Like, honestly, do you want to ruin your first? I mean, do, do you really want to ruin spring like that? <laughs> Don't go. Don't go. The Celtics and Bruins, the Bruins and Celtics are going to be in the playoffs. The, the, the Bruins are the shot of Stanley Cup. So like, there's plenty of Don't things. Don't go. Wait till the tickets are cheap. Go in July. But, but that's the other thing. Do you know what's going you know July 4th. Go do to you see know, the fireworks. Do you know how dirt cheap these tickets will be after <laughs> July 4th that this team does what I think it's going to do? <laughs> You'll get in there for 10 bucks. <laughs> You're going to think you can bring the, bring the paper bags over your head. Just the, They'll take anybody at that you point. You never know. You never Look, know. Alex Cora is maybe the best manager in baseball. He's one of the top three. I'll say that. Here's the problem with that division. The it's Orioles, loaded. The it's Orioles. loaded. It's loaded. The <laughs> Orioles are ridiculous. There isn't a bad team in the division except for the Red Sox. <laughs> There's a bad fucking team in the whole goddamn division. I, you know, I don't really like the Yankees. <laughs> <clears throat> They'll finish over 500. They will. They may not do anything, but they won't be in last place. I mean, they went out and got Juan Soto, <coughs> which is a monster. They did. Up. That's a that's a good pick. I'm up. telling you, yeah, they're not going to sit. Soto's a that. beast. Yes, he is. I'm telling but, you right now, the Red Sox are going to be in last fucking place. But I think they hung tight. They, I think they stuck with. I Rizzo. love Alex Cora. I love what Dever said. That no, that this no. <laughs> Who's the race? I don't know. They yeah, exactly. No one knows. But they traded away Chris Sale, which I think was good. They so what? That doesn't. They were stuck under him. 
They got some idiot to take. Let me see who their starting rotation. Is. Yeah, he won us a World Series in 2018. He was on that team. He, play, he actually played. So he got. He no, did. He didn't. Yeah, he did. He was a starter on that team. He wasn't in the playoffs, was he? Yes, he was. He, he started. Was. Yes, that was the one year he was healthy. That's insane. Yeah, he actually won a World Series. So he, at least he he, he, he walked away with it. He, he put a banner up. So you can't say he didn't do nothing. He helped I'm put a banner. Shocked. Up. So. Right. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No way that pussy was. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, God. Look, Chris Sale, when he was in when, his prime, was yeah, fucking amazing. He was legit. But then he went to the Red Sox, and it's 20, like you never saw No, him. in 2018, he was legit. That's why he got okay. the extension, Here because he was legit in 2018. Then he got hurt. He never recovered. Sure he, never, you, he, he never got hurt. Shows you what my dumbass knows. So. All right, so let's look at their rotation. Brian yeah. Bellow, big time, big time guy. <laughs> Uh, Brian Big Time Bellow. <laughs> we should nickname all these. Brian Big Game Bellow. Brian Big Game Bellow. Brian, Brian, Brian No Game, game Bellow. Brian No Game Bellow. Lucas Giolito. That is a guy that they actually signed that I wanted the Mets to sign. He's good. Okay. Um, they got him from he, the White Sox. He's a starter. Yeah, they they signed him this off season. Okay. Nick Pavetta, who I think was one of their better pitches last. He year. He actually had a decent year last year. Uh, th- th- now what that. Equates to this year, I don't know. But well, he, he can't be their best pitcher this year. I mean, or they're going. They're not going to win. Well, no, year. this is this guy's obviously the ace, yeah, Cutter yeah. Crawford. No, let's see there you have it right there. Cutter the cunt Crawford. Cue the duck boats. <laughs> His name's Cutter. Cutter. Cutter, as in cut the fucker, <laughs> Cutter, Cutter down. Well, I thought he was throwing a cut fastball. No, that's not. Then one. you got Garrett Whitlock, Tanner Garrett Houck, Shitlock, Tanner Houck, and uh, Josh Tan- Winch- Winch- Tanner Kansky. Hack. And then uh, Josh Winchkowski. <laughs> that name's got, oh my God, just, where do you want to start with that one? Shall we go to the bullpen? They still have Kenley they Jansen. Have one? They still have Kenley Jansen closing. He had a good year last year. I mean, he, he did. He had a good year. He's good, he's just he's older. Good. He's getting older. He was good. Mm. If he puts up about uh, 35, 40 saves, okay. 6 8 righty Chris Martin. Dear God, they got some height on this team. And too bad it's not the basketball dude, team. I know, dude, look at it. This fucking starting road. Well, I don't know if this. This is seven pitchers, so this must be a depth of starting pitching. But 6-1, 6-6, 6-1, 6-6, 6-5, 6-1, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5, 6-5,
A 6'8 second baseman? No, no. He's 6'2". I didn't say he was 6'8". A 6'2 second baseman. That's pretty tall. That's pretty tall. For a second baseman. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, he... First baseman are usually tall. The Braves called like, him up... Stretch and... They're usually north of six feet. Yeah. You know? No, first baseman, yeah. six four, six yeah, five. Yeah, that's, that's normal. Second base, I thought it was supposed to be short and quick. You know, Jack Rabbity. Well, dude, same with shortstop, but now shortstops yeah. are getting tall. Are they? Yeah. yeah. Fucking... Well, how tall was Mookie? Six one. Six? He's about Mookie Wilson. Betts. Mookie Bet? No, Mookie Betts is short. I, I don't think he's six feet. But, like, you have... Uh, 11, maybe? Maybe. He wasn't super short, but he wasn't no, tall. No, no. Um, um, but, dude, the, the guy for Cincinnati is, like, six... Four. There's a guy on a, six four. There's a guy in Pittsburgh that's six seven. They should, they should call him Long Short. Jeter was long stop. Tall. Jeter was a tall shortstop. So was A Rod. They should call him Long Stop. Cal Ripken was a tall shortstop. <laughs> I like Long Stop. <laughs> that game sucks. Wait, dude, it's the only game on. Uh, oh, Long Beach in Hawaii. The rainbows. Oh, dear God. The rainbows. Oh, the fighting rainbows, man. Um, all right, fighting, let's go back. What's a fighting rainbow? What is that? No, no, no. Is that like a? It's a rainbow war. It's like a rainbow Care Bear. Warrior. It's like a Care Bear. <laughs> like a Care Bear. Care Bears are cool as shit. Come on, That's you that. like Care Bears, don't you? Remember the Care Bears? I remember them. I remember them. They were like before my time, but my sisters liked them. Rafael Devers, third base, shortstop Trevor Story. There's another guy that never plays. Mm. This is the Red Sox still. Mm-hmm. Left field, Jar- oh Tyler O'Neill. That's another guy you got from St. Louis. That guy, Tyler O'Neill, can barely move. He's so muscular. So why get him? When he, when he hits the ball, he fucking destroys that shit. But he bats um, two hundred, so it's way. If no, hits. no, he's better than that. Oh, well, I hope no, so. he's a decent player. Okay. Um, okay, I'll take your word for it. Last place. <laughs> His average is about two fifty. If he said 270, I'm not get excited. 275. 270 is like a fucking 330 hitter saying, in these days. I'm saying if he was 270, I'm not get excited. 275, somewhere there, but not 250. Let's let's look at his average home run. 250. Is, the, is he young or is he older? Mm. What does that mean? <laughs> mm. Early 30s, late 20s. What does that mean? I don't yeah. even fucking know. Uh, uh, uh. He is. He debuted in 2018. Dear God. So he's young. Uh, he was born in 95. Fuck, he's what? 29. 30? 28? He's 30. 28, he's 30. I think? He's 24 now. If he was born in 95, he's he'd be 30. 29. Yeah, he's 28. 28, 29. <laughs> he's 35. <laughs> 51. He's about to retire. He's 68. Uh, the point is. I mean, so he's 29. So in baseball years, he's, he's, you know. It's baseball. He's a little If you don't throw your arm out, you can play to your 40. Um, but let's see what his average home runs are. Probably not that good. No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No, uh, by the way, we switched channels. There's a Donnie going on in Hawaii. Uh, Long Beach State, 14. Hawaii, 18. These are bubble teams for the tournament, I think. Um, so this is a competitive game on right now um, in the witching hours here of the sack. Um, but anyway, look, the Mets suck. The Red Sox are going to be worse. <laughs> um, our only hope is the Dodgers don't win the whole thing. <laughs> no. I'm fine with the Dodgers winning the whole thing because that means the Braves and the Phillies have not won it. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. I cannot fucking deal with that. You're in New York. You don't want Atlanta to win anything. You're one of those power markets, too. I don't give a fuck about the Dodgers. I get Atlanta. Philly? Come on. What the fuck about? What was on Philly? 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 Atlanta, I get. Philly? No. Philly's won one. One. When? When? In the 2000s. How many is Atlanta one? <sighs> Couple. <laughs> Couple. So two. Well, so they two. won. They won in twenty nineteen, I think. The Dodgers, whoever whoever is writing the checks out there. Dodgers have only won one. I know, but whoever is writing the checks out there is just fucking. Must they must they must be tapped into the Federal Reserve. I mean, Philly's only won. Just, the, the Dodgers are printing money. Philly's it's won printing one, but money. Been to three in the past twenty. <laughs> oh. Look, if the Red Sox are at 500 at the 4th of July, that would be a monumental victory. If they're, they're, if but they were last year. That, they were, and they're better. They're, I, don't, I don't think they are. They're better. We, on paper, they might be. but I, We don't even know that yet. They're better. You think so? Mm-hmm. Isn't the division better? Mm-hmm. I mean... Baltimore's better. 
Baltimore's the same almost, but but more experienced. Here, right? Oh, and they got Corbin Burns. I forgot. Baltimore's better. Baltimore traded guy. for a fucking that, ace. That was the guy. I couldn't remember. They got some guy. I can't remember his name. They got Milwaukee's yeah. ace. Yeah, Baltimore's better. <laughs> okay, yeah. so all right, but that's and the Yankees added Desoto. He's a stud. That I'm saying the, 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 the Jays can hit with anybody if they ever get any fucking pitching, mm, and the Rays can pitch with anybody if they ever get any fucking hitting. Um, the bottom line is, but all four of those teams are going to be good. Barring made their all. Oh, I know, but my point is. That was pretty much the same story going into last year. We finished in last. I know, but at but at, in July they were five hundred. Your owner just came out and said they're not going to spend money. They're not going to be at five hundred. They this bought year. they bought Giolito. They're not going to be at five hundred this year, unless something happens in the division where some other team gets a rash of injuries. I think they'll be now. Okay. Could that happen? Yes, it could. But I'm not saying it's going. Well, the Yankees pretty. have been known for it, especially with Judge and his toe. Recently, they have been and but and Stanton. Because they have Judge and Stanton, two big guys, and and Stanton's so muscular, he's always pulling muscle. Boston fans will never say, "Well, I hope somebody gets hurt." <laughs> if that's where we're at, yeah. that's awful. So okay, we could have a Donnie uh, here. We do have a Donnie here. All right, I'm saying. we got a little Donnie going on. There. Um, but anyway, we're thirty-five minutes in, so that's enough. <laughs> um, he's, he's, Donnie said anything? Mm-hmm. I think so. I think they're sitting. Um, it's hard to tell if it's hard to tell if it's the uh, what's the pin whip. Are we going to come back for segment three? We can do a segment three. We'll wake up in the morning. We might do a segment. You know, we're going to ponder it. We'll ponder it. Ponder it over some pin whip and a little bit of um, Mountain Dew. I mean, Dewey we Dewey. have one more soda. Dewey Doo Doo. The Dewey Doo. What do I call it? The Dewey Doo Doos. It's so Dewey sweet you can just Dewey do the Dewey Doo Doos. <laughs> They're the wonderful. Dewskies. It's, this is the, I got news for you, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not picked up on this yet. Go fucking get it. Pin whip on the rocks. Can't go wrong. Pin whip. Dad we will discuss a possible segment three. Possible. And maybe we'll see us again. Especially if this stays a Donnie. Long Beach State, Hawaii, fighting I Rainbow Warriors. a different kind of Donnie on. If they're, I got to check their records up. I think they're both. If they're both tournament caliber team. Oh, whoa, a little snatch. Never saw him. We'll discuss. Stand aside. He's yawning on the camera.